Hi everybody, as you may already know, my name is Rhiannon and I am a student of Jake Steiner's and Myopia Method for Natural Vision Improvement. Let's dive right in. As most of you already know, the first step in the Unmyopia Method is differentials. Therefore, the first question most people ask is, do I really need them? The simple answer, red zone. The red zone is the first 50 centimeters that you can see. If you can't see to at least 50 centimeters relatively well, then the answer is without question, yes, you need differentials. In most cases, this means you have two or more diopters of sphere and or one or more diopters of cylinder. The reason you need to stay out of the red zone is, well, I will give you four. The first of which being ergonomic positioning. If you are dealing with a closer proximity than 50 centimeters and you're trying to force yourself to see, you're probably going to be in not the best position for your body. It's not a good thing to sustain for the long term. The next being convergence. When you look at something closer than 50 centimeters, your eyes actually have to turn in in order to converge on the point of focus. There is not a scenario that I think that can be a good idea to do for long sustained periods of time. Reason number three, ciliary spasm. As you should already know by now, your ciliary has to work that much harder the closer you get. So distance is always your friend when it comes to your ciliary. The fourth and final reason being hyperoptic to focus. As you may or may not know already, that is primarily to do with your peripheral vision. And if something is so close to your face that it blocks your periphery, you are at maximum exposure of hyperoptic to focus. And that is definitely the catalyst for axial elongation. Next up, the yellow zone. This means we're out of the danger zone, but we still need to exercise caution. Inside the yellow zone is where the vast majority of our close static work occurs. This is usually your computer work, your reading, your phone use, screens in general. Generally, this space is between 50 centimeters and let's say 110 centimeters. That's kind of arbitrary, but generally you're not doing static close up outside of that parameter. Inside of this parameter, however, we can set this diopter bubble using our differentials. And if you don't know how to do that, links below and we can make a workable edge of blur to turn what used to be only strain into positive stimulus. This will make a huge difference moving forward in our journey. When we're not in the yellow zone, the green zone is where we spend the vast majority of our time. Inside the green zone, your normal eyes should give you pretty good vision. You should enjoy a reasonable amount of clarity and very little blur challenge which is okay because you do not want to become habituated to blur. You're not going to have a whole lot of blur to clear. It's going to take very minimal effort to keep it clear. This is a good place to be and where most of us spend the vast majority of our time. Let's move on to the blue zone. The blue zone is where the magic happens. This is that distance outside of 20 feet where your eyes are happy, relaxed, and where your gains can be maximized. Bottom line, distance vision is what improves distance vision and your differentials give you the opportunity to maximize your distance even during close-up. So get the differentials. One more point about what's so great about those differentials, they're like a freebie, a gimme. At one point or other, you're gonna have a, whoops, I didn't get that quite right with your correction, and you may as well get it out of the way with your differentials. Because if you order those and you don't get them quite right, it's no big deal. If you order your distance correction and it's not quite right, that's a whole other matter. But when you're dealing with your differentials, if you're not aggressive enough with your reduction, you can always move your chair back. And if you're a little too aggressive with your reduction, well, then you can move your chair forward until your eyes adjust and you can then move your chair back again. Um, measure your workspace to make sure that you get a reasonably good guess to begin with. But again, it's just a gimme. So don't be shy. Pull the trigger. Get your differentials. Best wishes in your journey back to 2020.